Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm back out here in my extremely hot garage. I probably have sweat all over this shirt. I've been filming a field strip video on the Jennings J25, a little Saturday night special here, and I was not planning on making this video, but today I was cleaning it up, and then I discovered or rediscovered that this gun does not come apart in a very logical way. So I thought it was worth making a video on. And then when I took it apart, and of course I'm going to tell you this, and my friend Matt who lent this to the channel, he doesn't know this yet. So when he's watching this for the first time, he doesn't know the, the uh, trouble I had. When I took this slide off today, I had two parts fly out of this thing and I couldn't find them for like 25 minutes. I was kind of panicking. I know this is a super duper cheap gun and I even tracked down the parts online and uh, I was going to have to buy them, but luckily they were only like $16 and like $20 or something. But the sear assembly and a part called the cam, which connects the sear assembly to the trigger bar. And I guess that's a problem that these guns have when, I guess because the literally the tolerances of them are just so loose that if you take it apart, if you kind of jostle it the right way, these things just go boop, and they did. And they went like up here somewhere. I found the sear assembly probably in about 10 minutes and I could not find that cam. And I was like, I'm never gonna find this thing. I mean, I, I like tore this garage apart. And of course, when parts fly off of guns, you know, they never land in the gigantic floor I have behind me or on the wide open space of the table they're always going to fling somewhere tiny and small and behind something and blend in or somehow land where it you know goes down into a crack or a crevice and you never find it again but luckily I was able to find it and I learned how to go more than just a field strip on this gun so I got it back to uh, back together and so I made a field strip video on it and I also talk about my experience with those two parts, and in case anybody ever takes one of these apart, how to put it back together. So I know there's a couple of other videos out there that kind of show it, but nobody shows those, those two little parts. So that's what I made. So yeah, Matt, uh, I almost had to buy a couple of parts for your little Jennings J25 because, yeah, I thought I lost them. I thought I lost them, but it's but it's back together. It's all cleaned up and ready to go back to you. So I have your little uh, pistol bag. In fact, let me wipe this down, and then officially it goes back in the bag and back to you. So thank you for letting me borrow it. And this is probably the cleanest and the nicest Jennings J25 in existence because I really took my time and detail cleaned that. So Matt will probably laugh at me and go, it's just a cheap little gun. Every gun that gets lent to the Texas Gun Vault gets cleaned better than it was when I received it. All right, so that is back together. And I'm sorry, I haven't made a video in a couple days. I really haven't had much to talk about. Um, I'm still plugging along on all these reviews that I have to do. In fact, I need to go in and start the... Uh, editing of the range footage on the Nighthawk Custom Firehawk. I need to create the thumbnail and then I need to, I guess, begin to work on the script of that one. I'll probably do that tonight, but I also got some other paperwork I have to do for my job. So <clears throat> we'll do that. But anyway, um, I wanted to share one more thing with you and it's not gun related. So if you end up like leaving the video now, I don't blame you. But I wanted to share it because it's such a cool thing. You guys know I love things mechanical, you know, classic cars and guns and watches now. And my wife got me an amazing gift. So um, I wanted to share this with you because it was kind of unexpected and it was an awesome gift. And uh, so I brought out kind of my premier watch box here. And I wanted to show you the watches that I've had for a little bit and then show you the one that she got me. Um, I have my Tudor Black Bay 58, uh, kind of a retro diving watch, 39 millimeter. Uh, I love this watch. This watch is just awesome and beautiful. And I wear that one a, uh, that one a lot. Um, then of course I have my Rolex Explorer 2 with the white polar dial. 
And now, because we were at the shop where I bought these, um, there's kind of a watch that's always been on my kind of dream list because I'm a huge space fan. And I want to show you what this one is. And I think if, just by saying space, you guys know exactly which, which watch I got. There was an Omega Speed Timer. Yeah, I got an Omega Speed Timer. And this is the watch that went to the moon, the first watch on the moon. And it was the only one that was truly NASA certified for space flight. And so uh, I was able to pick up one with the original uh, box, all of the paperwork, the warranty card, all this kind of stuff. The, of course, the manual and all the history of the watch. But I wanted to show it to you here. And it turns out that we were there and I was looking at the Omega and my wife saw an Omega Constellation that was pink and she had to order one. So she got that and then she bought me as a gift an Omega Speed Timer. Yeah, take a look at that. And this is the one with the Hesalite crystal in it. So it's the same one that uh, went to space and was on the Apollo landing. So. That is, that is really cool. This is one of those just classic watches. So uh, these are my premier watches in my collection. And uh, I now have another one of my kind of short list of dream watches, a Omega Speed Timer. Yeah, this is a manual watch. The other two are automatics. So I have to wind this one. Uh, this thing is awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to give a big shout out to my wife who got me this amazing amazing gift and trust me it was not it was not cheap <laughs> so yeah anyway that's what uh, I got on the table tonight not really much about guns but watches so anyway um, just wanted to share that little story with you about that Jennings 25 because I'm sure many of you have been taking guns apart and when you take them apart you have Things fall off, springs go to, you know, to the moon, and you never find them again. Oh, speaking of going to the moon, I also have on my wrist right now the other watch that went to the moon. And this is the Bulova Lunar Pilot. An interesting, it has an interesting history to it because on Apollo 15, uh, of course, the speed timers were the watches they were supposed to be using, and Bulova actually... Um, talk to the astronauts to take one of their watches up and they're glad that they did because the speed timer that they used actually had the crystal fall out so it was not usable on the moon and they were able to use the backup the Bulova lunar pilot and this is one that actually has a meteorite dial in it so as you can see it has a kind of a unique dial but it's the same size and format layout as the original lunar pilot. The only difference between this and the original is that this is a high precision quartz movement and um, it's like the top of the line quartz and this is actually a pretty expensive watch and it's supposed to only lose plus or minus two seconds a year. That's how accurate it's supposed to be. But it's also a chronograph as well so and a titanium case on it and all that and that's a fun watch too. So I have both watches that uh, were on the moon. Uh, the uh, Omega Speed Timer and the Bulova Lunar Pilot. And that's just because I'm a complete dork. I love space, everything, history, and mechanics. So anyway, uh, just wanted to share that with you. I probably bored a few of you guys. But anyway, just thought I would uh, uh, share it with you because I wanted to thank my wife publicly because she is awesome and uh, I keep telling you guys, I'm the most blessed man in the world. So anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. And Matt, don't worry, your gun is all back uh, together. And I didn't lose any parts. So let me know what you guys think. Obviously, the word of the day is going to be Omega, if you watch to the end. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And thanks for joining me in the extremely hot garage. And as always, thanks for watching.